The clavicle can fracture in three places. The most common place for it to break is in the middle, uh, often called a mid-shaft clavicle fracture. The next most common is the outer end of the bone called a lateral clavicle fracture and very rarely medial clavicle fractures can occur. With mid-shaft clavicle fractures, the most common uh, cause for this is a fall on the outstretched hand. And this can either be low energy or in some cases high energy, such as coming off a push bike, a motorbike or snowboarding. These are some of the most common causes I see in my clinic. With lateral clavicle fractures, the most common cause is a fall directly onto the side of the shoulder. And again, these can be due to low energy injuries or high energy injuries. With a clavicle fracture, patients will experience extreme pain. Often there'll be bruising and swelling, which can spread down the chest. And there may be a visible deformity, either tenting of the bone under the skin, or sometimes shortening of the affected shoulder so that there's an asymmetry between the shoulder lengths on either side. There sometimes can be uh, pain going down the arm and if swelling and bruising affect the nerves in the neck there may be pins and needles in the hand which need to be investigated uh, as an urgent matter. But by far and by large the most common symptom is pain and deformity.